Hi all, this is Tyler Krompiatek from Canisius. In this video we go over how to create tables in Excel. Tables can be used for quickly sorting and filtering data on a specific column. They also make it easier when using formulas that require ranges, as well as creating charts. A link to the spreadsheet used in this video will be available in the description. Let's get started. Before we make a table in Excel, we need to create headers for the table. Right click on the one in the leftmost column. Then select Insert in the menu that appears. From there, add our headers. When creating headers for tables, make sure that there are no spaces. In this tutorial, we will use camel case. In column A, the header is first name. In column B, the header is last name. Column C is city state. D will be zip. And E will be preference and F will be age. Once we have our headers, there are two main ways to create a table in Excel. The first way is to go to Insert. Then select Table in the ribbon. The second option is to use the hotkey. This is Control T for Windows or Command T for Mac. In either case, we first need to make sure that we select a cell with data. Any cell will do. Then, after using either of the previously mentioned options, we should get a pop-up. This pop-up is asking us to select the range of our table, which should automatically be populated. Make sure that the My Table Has Headers option is checked. Then click on OK. We should notice a few things. First, the rows of our table should now be highlighted. This is done with alternating colors. Second, the ribbon has now updated and now has options for table design. Here we can do a few things. We can name the table. It is currently set to table one, which is fine for us since we only have the single table. But for workbooks that are using multiple tables, it is a good idea to rename the table to something more descriptive. When we do, make sure not to include any spaces. We can also quickly remove duplicates, revert the table back to a range, and use a pivot table to create summaries of the data. We can also change the style of the table. Let's take a look at the table itself. We should notice drop down arrows to the right of each header. When we click on one, we have a few options to filter based on that column. Let's look at the first name column. We can sort A to Z or Z to A. We can also do a custom filter. When we want to clear a filter on a column, we can click on the drop down to the right of the column header. Then select Clear Filter. That's it for this video. If there are any questions or comments, please email us at helpdesk at Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.